Greetings, fellow Wastelanders. It's Paul from the School Zone, back at you with another quick tips and tricks video. So I wanted to put something quick together for you, something that would be really interesting and really helpful to people, but that I could crank out really fast before I uh, launch into Automatron. Wanted to try to get a few of these little tips and tricks videos before I barrel through that series and also intersperse some more Quantum Break. So this one was a fun one I could get out and show you guys what I'm talking about in the title where it says, you can fall from an unlimited distance without power armor using no exploits, 100% fair. All right, so if you notice the uh, nice little scenery behind me, we're back at the USS Constitution. Yep, one of the highest places that I've reached other than that building over there. So this will make for a nice demonstration. And if you guys haven't seen my USS Constitution quest, you're definitely gonna have to check it out. It was a lot of fun. I'll put a link in the description in the iCard above. All right, so the ship is now sort of docked on top of another building from where it originally started. I won't give away any spoilers if you haven't seen the quest, but we are at a very, very high point, right above Faneuil Hall, actually. And uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna jump off here and I'm gonna demonstrate what happens when you're not doing what I'm about to show you. All right, here we go. Right into the fire. Ah! <laughs> okay, you don't want to be doing that in the game or in real life. Okay, so we're reloaded now. And I'm going to show you guys what you're going to need to pull this trick off. There are two pieces of apparel, actually. They usually come in the form of armor, and they are going to have this prefix called acrobats in front of them. Now, I just happened to find a metal left leg and a metal right leg. It may be possible that prefix is on other types of, uh, of armor, but I'm going to take a guess that because it deals with falling, it's probably most likely going to appear on a piece of leg armor. But uh, let me inspect this for you and show you what's going on. So this thing right here reduces falling damage by 50%. Okay, now I found this one quite a few levels ago. I'm level 51 and I found it at like 19th or 20th level. And I thought to myself, you know, 50%, what's the big deal there? I, I'm probably never gonna use this because I almost never fall. And if I do fall, it's probably from a really high place where it's gonna kill me anyway. But I didn't sell it. I actually stored it in my little red rocket cabinet just in case I might figure out something clever to do with it someday. All right, well, as it turns out, 30 levels later, I ran into another legendary enemy and uh, he had the other side, the right leg. This one reduces falling damage by 50%. And I thought to myself, being a clever little player here on Fallout 4, what happens if I combine them? So if one's gonna reduce 50%, the other's gonna reduce 50%, do they stack? Or does that just mean that the remaining 50% is reduced by another 50%, so I only take 25%? Well, I tested it out, and sure enough, <laughs> they stack equally. The sum of their parts makes the whole. So 50% plus 50% equals 100%. So what we're gonna do now is equip the right and left legs, and I'm gonna show you <laughs> what happens now when you fall from a really high place. We'll probably survive this time and have to deal with a few uh, super mutants down. Oh, ones are even trying to fire a, a missile at us. Let me see if I can take them out just for the fun of it. Oh, he's way over there. And there's one over there. How cool would that be if I could take them out before I even uh, fall? Oh, there he is. Wow. Let's just do it for the fun of it. Come on, steady, steady, steady. Time is here. Oh, I knocked him down with the uh, sniper perk. That's pretty cool. Okay. <laughs> he won't let me aim any farther. There we go. Nice. <laughs> one down. Where's the other one? Okay, that's some... 
You want to talk about being a sniper, man. That's about as high as you can get. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and uh, just take them out when we get down there. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and equip my kneecapper and pull this out when I fall. But anyway, here is the point. So I'm going to fall now, and I'm going to completely survive with these two pieces of equipment stacked. All right. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. I'm so afraid of heights, but not with these two pieces of equipment. All right. You ready to go? Here we go. Oh, he shot me. Ah! Kaboom. I survived. Oh, and you are so dead now. <laughs> How awesome is that? There's the suicider. <laughs> you ain't making it to me. <laughs> he blew up his friend. That's funny. Okay, time for the Overseer's Guardian. Oh, I'm being attacked by a mutant hound. That's what it is. All right, now we can go for this guy. All right. And we are good to go. Okay, that was awesome. So we fell all the way from the top of that pole that sticks out from the ship that actually has a name, I can tell you. Hey, you get a little quick factoid even in the tips and tricks video. So that little spear-like pole that sticks out in front of a ship is called a bowsprit. All right, there you go. Well, we did a good job here. But anyway, back to the point of this video. So if you guys come across any of these uh, armor pieces that have the acrobat prefix in front of them, don't sell them or throw away, because if you accumulate two of them, you can fall from any height without power armor. In this case, they're metal. If you happen to find leather, you'd be even luckier, because I think they'd weigh like a pound or two less. But for me, three and three, that's six extra pounds. If I ever need to fall on unlimited height, I'm just going to carry these things around. Now, I'm not normally going to wear them unless I do need to fall. I'm going to go back to my regular chameleon armor and this uh, piece of shin guard that increases my speed, you know, just to make the videos run a little faster for you guys. But yeah, these things are now gonna sit in my inventory and give me unlimited falling. So as with the perfectly preserved pie from the Porta Diner video, theory confirmed, it is possible to fall an unlimited distance in Fallout 4 without power armor or using any glitches. All right, so best of luck finding a couple of these pieces of equipment. If you've already got one, like I said, don't sell it. And I'm sure there's plenty of videos out there on how you can farm for legendary equipment. I don't usually do any farming because just basic adventuring around, I run into enough legendary enemies on the hard setting now that my epic stealth build is beyond the pale that I usually find quite a few things that I need. And uh, over time, you know, I just uh, store them up and find creative uses for them. That's the beauty of Fallout 4. Fantastic. Hope this helped you guys out. Hope you had fun with it. Make sure you fall on that like button and, and share the video around. And we'll see you next time on The School Zone. Peace out.